Dear Grade 2 students, this is the chapter about lines and surfaces and in this lesson we will continue talking about flat and curved surfaces. In the previous lesson we discussed the types of surfaces an object could have. It could either be flat or curved. We also said that the objects can have only flat, only curved or both flat and curved surfaces. In this lesson we will learn how these surfaces behave. Some surfaces will slide. This means that they will move along just the bottom surface touching the ground. It will not go around itself. Think of how you would move down the slide. You will not go around yourself. Some surfaces will roll. This means that they will move round and round. Think of how the ball moves when you kick it, or how the wheel moves on the ground. They go round and round themselves. Some objects will stack. Stacking means placing objects over each other, just like those Rubik cubes. Look at those objects that slide. As we said, the only surface that will touch the ground is the bottom surface. Look at all of these objects. Do you notice a common thing about the bottom surface? All those objects have a flat bottom surface. So to slide, the object needs to have at least one flat surface. Now all flat surfaces can slide. Now look at those objects that roll. All of them can go round and round themselves if you place them on their curved surface. A ball will always roll. A can of soda will roll if you place it on its side and a cone will roll around itself. Now all curved surfaces can roll. Stacking is a different idea. It is being able to place more than one object over each other. To do that, you will obviously need a flat surface. But do all flat surfaces stack? Let's try to stack these objects. The pyramid is made of all flat surfaces. Let's try to stack it. Uh-oh, it won't happen. Same thing with the cone. It has a flat bottom surface, but you can't place two cones over each other. At the end of this lesson, can you remember the object that did all three behaviors? Take a guess. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.